Let me stretch your memory back a whole, what? Three, two, three, two and a half hours? This morning, what were we looking at? What were we focusing on this morning? See, so, yeah, okay, inequalities and how they were different to equations, correct? However, you might recall, we focused on a very specific family of equations and inequalities, but really the simplest kind you could deal with, because they were all, does everyone remember, starts with an L? They're all linear, very good, which is why that last example, I showed you the straight lines and you saw they're all quite easy to wrap your head around. And we're going to step it up a little bit. You've seen quadratics before. We're still in that part of the course for two unit where things still feel familiar enough from last year, but we're just going to look at a lot of hard applications of those. Okay? So, let me start off with something that you know. We have established three different methods that we can choose from, really, for solving quadratic equations. Anyone want to suggest one of them? Yeah, Cheyenne. A limit. Oh, okay. So. I'll put that up here. I'll come back to it in a minute. Girls, can you suggest one for me? What's another method that we could use? Yeah. Substitution. So, oh, okay. So, I'm going to pause for a second. I'll put this here. Oh, wait, this is I think what we're thinking of, and these are still useful, I think possibly what we're thinking of with these two are not so much quadratic equations, but simultaneous equations. Now, those skills are still useful because all of the stuff that you do algebraically with simultaneous equations, you can still do them depending on the quadratic you get. What else could we do? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to sort of put all of these together. Right? If I put grouping in here, together with these other forms of algebraic manipulation, Really what we're trying to get to is, starts with an F, and we looked at it a lot last week. Factorizing. <laughs> if you're going to do any elimination or substitution, the kinds that you're going to do are the ones that get you closer to a factorization. right? And it's the same with grouping. You might have uh, four terms in your expansion there, and you can say, well, these two I can pull out a common factor, these two, and off you go. But these are only the simplest kinds. If you want to do this kind of algebraic manipulation, you're going to have to really have a very straightforward quadratic, right? Sometimes, not so easy. You can't think of a pair of numbers that will easily go into them. So what other kinds of techniques do you have? Okay, the quadratic formula. I'm going to put that guy down here. The quadratic formula. By now, I wonder if we can recite it. Hmm. X equals minus B, minus B plus or minus. Whoa, okay, stop, stop. That was awful. Let's try again together. You're like, I got to the end. Yeah, but not everyone else did. Okay, count of three this time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over. Okay, so good. You know the quadratic formula. But, why did I put it last? What goes in the middle? There's something else that we need to know, and you've learnt already, we're going to focus on today, before you get to the quadratic formula. How did you get it? Does anyone remember? It's a method that no one likes, but you need to get a little more familiar with. Okay, difference of squares we have been looking at over the factorization, I think. Okay. However, you don't always get something that's so neat in a quadratic that's just a difference of squares. Sometimes, even when you have something very messy, and in fact, this technique that's in the middle, you can use with any quadratic. Is that higher order? Hmm. Oh. Higher order polynomials, we will get to in time. But for now, we're thinking just when you're squaring. Okay? What do you reckon, William? Isn't that the beginning of the Aha! Oh, oh yeah! Now you're yeah. Very good. Oh. <laughs> that's right. That's the that's the response that most people give. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is I, I'm sort of going to skip over this because we've done this to death last week. You guys are really good at factorizing. You want to make sure you're equal to zero, and then you can identify your solutions. Okay. But this guy over here, we're less familiar with it. We don't like it because we find it difficult and awkward. So I want to push on it a little bit and I want to remind you that that's actually how we get the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is just kind of an automation of completing the square. Okay? 